What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert and today I wanted to show you a little trick that I like to use whenever I need to send a delay out to a reverb. So I come up from the Pro Tools environment and in Pro Tools you can send any effect that you have that we bring back on an auxiliary return channel, you can send that to another effect. Now the way that Studio One handles things is a little bit differently. So if I drag in any plugin like a reverb or a delay into the send section here, it automatically creates an effects channel and it will give it the name of the plugin that you're instantiating. So in this case, I've dragged over R2 and a UAD EP34. I've got two effects tracks here and one is named R2 and the other one here is the EP34 track. So quite often I like to send my vocal delay back into the vocal reverb to just push things back a little bit further. Now the only issue with that workflow with effects tracks is that we actually don't have a send available from the effects track. So essentially I can't send out this effects return back into the reverb here. So there's a couple different ways that we can work around this. One thing that I could do here would be to simply copy this R2 plugin over to the delay return, and then I would make an adjustment to my mix here, so I could dial in you know, a wet and dry amount that would be somewhere around, I don't know, whatever I need it to be. Could be 20%, could be 50%, whatever fits it, suit it to taste. But that's not quite what I wanna do here, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. In fact, what I wanna do is I just wanna have one reverb running maybe for the entire session and I wanna have everything glued together and I wanna have everything going out to that reverb so it just gels everything together for me. So in that particular case, what we can do here is we can use a bus in place of an effects channel. So I'm gonna right click right now, I'm gonna add a bus channel. We'll name that delay. Now I'm gonna copy my plugin from my effects channel onto my bus. And now the last thing that I need to do here is I need to change the routing of this send here. Instead of sending the lead vocal out to the UAD EP34 tape echo, I can send it out to the delay bus. Now I'm sending the exact same amount of this lead vocal is being sent out to this bus channel. So this bus channel is essentially taking place of the effects track. Now I can make this inactive and hide it if I want. We don't need to see that any longer. We'll unsolo safe it, mute it, and let's hide it here. And now I can solo safe this track over here. And now I have the added benefit that I can take this delay track and we can grab an R2 reverb and we can send the delay out to a reverb. So let me just solo this out for a sec. 16 years later in this young lady. Let me just goose up the send level a bit so we can almost exaggerate this. Speaking to a crowd who as opposed to who needed 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 to see she So there's definitely times where this type of workflow is useful and any time that I need to send an effect back into another effect I'll use a bus in place of an effects channel in Studio One so that I can use the send from the bus and send into other effects. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.